Freud's unique genius as a portrait painter really relies in his ability to capture the inner essence and character of his sitters. It's not just in the face, the nose, the eyes, and a person's physical presence, but it's also in each detail. So the name of the painting I'm talking about is Ib Reading from 1997. The painting depicts Isabel Boyd, who's one of Lucian Freud's daughters by his girlfriend, Susie Boyd. Isabel Boyd was one of four children that Freud and Susie Boyd had together. Freud painted Isabel Boyd, or Ib, as she's referred to in the paintings, at numerous moments over the course of his career. Paintings of this scale and quality are very rare to come to auction. In fact, the timing of this painting coming to auction is extremely opportune given we've recently closed the Lucian Freud retrospective at the National Gallery. The subject of a woman reading is a very famous and often painted motif within art history. And artists from Vermeer through to Van Gogh, Matisse and Picasso have sought to capture the same subject in paint. What it depicts here is a very private moment between the artist and his sitter in this case, Freud and his daughter, in his innermost sanctum, the artist's studio. And I think that the essence of her life is captured within this painting. She's sitting quietly in the studio of her father, reading a book by Proust on her lap, and it's called Remembrance of Things Past. Proust's book is about the allegorical search for the truth and how we can reconstruct the past through memories. Freud's paintings act like that in a way, particularly of his children, because he was often absent as a father when they were young. In many ways, you could read this painting as a representation of the lost years between Freud and his many children. One of the many areas that I'm drawn to when looking at this painting are the sitter's feet. The way in which they cross over is reminiscent of a crucifix, in fact, the way in which Christ's feet cross over in so many images from art history, but also the way in which they rest on these kind of tattered leather chairs, chairs that are very famous from lots of photographs of Freud's studios. All of these elements, they're painted with the same painstaking scrutiny and attention to detail that you get in the sitter's face. Working on a canvas of this scale would have taken Freud the best part of a year to complete. The 1990s saw Freud producing some of his most ambitious and famous works from Benefit's supervisor through to the Brigadier. It was during this moment that he started painting on an increasingly monumental scale, allowing him to capture in paint not just the sitter, but also every detail of their studio surrounding. Lucien Freud is one of the most celebrated and unique artists of the 20th and 21st century. His ability to capture the inner essence and nature of his sitters in paint is truly remarkable and still as relevant as it was when he first started in the 1950s and 60s. We're very excited to be presenting Ib Reading as one of the highlights of our March 1st evening sale in London.